I can legally show you what I just saw. I'm pretty sure the leader of the KKK found the video and showed it to all of his friends. Oh God. A lot of people out there are stingy as hell and they're not gonna give you all the little secrets. I'm trying to figure out all the little secrets and then I will then share it with you. Why am I drinking water in every vlog that I film? So I'm feeling pretty good today, which means I can bring out my camera since the last two weeks have been, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's Taylor Swift. I don't know if it's just, you know, the energy of the world, but your girl has been depressed. depressed. Struggling. Through through every single bit of just being alive, if that, if that makes sense. If you, if you agree, um, put a thumbs up on the video. Anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna be doing my uh, nails on a box that I haven't opened. I'm pretty sure there's, I'm pretty sure there's cereal inside. I would like to talk about how I so desperately want to quit YouTube after only two months of filming. <laughs> Here's the thing. I talked to you guys a little bit last video about how I got involved in YouTube. How honestly it was started because my skin was absolutely horrific. And then I ended up diving. Okay, re fucking wind, all right? Jenna Marbles started me off on YouTube, okay? Jenna Marbles. <laughs> so we're gonna give some props to her for a second. And then that's, I, I, when YouTube like first came out, like we were, it was just about comedy, you know? It was just about hysterical videos coming out, like two minute videos, and now all these fucking people out here, me, myself included, think that people wanna listen to my life. And hopefully you do because I'm having a lot of fun um, sharing my life, but at the same time, we'll get into that. Recently, I got back into YouTube because of the whole skincare. Then I got addicted to vloggers, and then you know the rest is history. And here we are. <laughs> so here I am, right? Quarantine. I'm like, you know what? One of my dreams has always been to be a like cute little YouTuber. I love sharing my life. I love sharing my stories. I love sharing my depressions and my anxieties. You know, this is just who I am at the end of the day. So I decided, thank you COVID for ha the only positive thing that has come out of COVID is that I felt inspired to actually get involved and film myself talking in my own house while my cats go crazy. And I want to fucking quit. Two months in, I want to quit. And here's, here's, here's why. <sighs> A lot of crazy stuff happens to me, right? Like I feel like for today example, I was, Jesus, I was out with my friend. We were getting coffee after I taught class and I look to the right of me and I see a guy about to feed a ferret to a dog. <laughs> to a dog. He didn't, luckily. I like, yeah, I, I kind of had a little like <laughs> moment and he didn't. But uh, that happened. About 30 minutes later, some guy strolls up on a cute little scooter and gives me and my friend a rose. And we're like, oh, Aww. thank you so much. Like, that used to happen to me in New York all the time, right? Like guys, people, actually, guys, I was gonna say people to be all inclusive. No, men, mostly men, would always come up and be like, here's a rose. Do they expect money 100% of the time? Yes. Have there been some guys in on the streets of New York that haven't expected money? Yeah, and we love those. We love those human beings. This guy gave us a fucking rose and I was like, oh, thanks, okay, bye. And he's like, you don't have anything for me? And we both were like, no. He goes, okay. Takes the damn rose back. Takes both of them. Takes our roses from our hands. So we had a range of emotions this morning. So random shit like that happens. Like I shit my pants in public in Zilker Park. What? What? Segue into me vlogging about me shitting my fucking leggings in Zilker Park. This was my, s what's, in, what's in my eye? Oh, ew, it was a nail. Ew! It was my second YouTube video. Guys, it was my second YouTube video. Okay, if you haven't watched it, watch it. It's actually really comical. I'm really proud of that moment in my life and I'll never forget it. My second YouTube video and all of a sudden, Week three, right? Week three of starting my YouTube channel, this thing spikes. I'm talking 16, six, 16, 16K? 16K, that's not 16,000, right? 16K. 
1600, 16K. Yeah, because you can't do one, one six K. 1,600 views. And then the second video got like around the same, right? Like 1,400 or something, something like that. 14,000, 1,400. I don't judge me. This is just um, a glitch in the, a glitch. This is like SpongeBob SquarePants, you know, like all the SpongeBob's are like running around in your brain and then everything's set on fire. That's how I feel. The past couple of weeks, everything in my brain has been set on fire and I don't even know what left and right is at this point. For those of you who are new on YouTube, I imagine some, you know, if you're watching this video or this video has gotten to you, that's because you are intimidated by YouTube. Now I'm learning all these new things, right? The algorithm, how you get views based off of your thumbnail or the content or figuring out what's trending, figuring out what hashtags. There are so many things that go into YouTube. Once you're starting to put out your YouTube videos, then you start getting more information behind the scenes in your YouTube studio. And eventually my goal is to make a how to start on YouTube because this is the thing. A lot of people out there are stingy as hell and they're not gonna give you all the little secrets. I'm trying to figure out all the little secrets and then I will then share it with you. As you are continuing to make videos and the longer that you're on YouTube, the more analytics that you're able to see behind the scenes. And that is, it gives you information about what gender watches your videos? What time of the day are people watching your videos? What country your videos are streaming in? Just random stuff like that so you can start to figure out what kind of audience you wanna target with your videos. Now that being said, there is this little uh, feature that they have on YouTube. They tell you how people are finding your videos, right? Whether that is a YouTube search or that is an external website or like Instagram or Facebook or something if you're promoting your videos off of that. So they, so tell, they tell you where, where your, your videos, videos are linked to or, or being promoted to have people click on it and then bring it to your fucking YouTube. And within the first two weeks of starting my YouTube channel, my top external source for both of these videos. Also, and I just looked, I just pulled up my little analytics thing right here, right? Um, one of the poop videos got over 2,000 views, so, you know. You know, third video on YouTube, hey! Fame. Fame in the wrong way for the wrong audience, and it makes me want to delete every social media that I ever have ever had or ever to be existed, existing. Top external source, 78% wetset.net. Now, <laughs> like Julia, Julia, what's, what's wetset.net? Well, let's uh, let's Google it. And I'm sorry, that was I wanted the sandwich. I'm gonna cry. Wetset is um a magazine for adults only. Okay, adults only. Panty wedding, panty and diaper pooping, adult babies and diaper lovers. You guys, you guys, what the fuck? Are you kidding? <sighs> that means, oh God. Okay, should I enter? I'm gonna enter. Okay, do a member tour or a shopping cart? Let's see, I'm gonna just gonna, I'm just gonna click. Oh my God, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. I don't think I can legally show you what I just saw. Oh! So that means that um, my YouTube video ended up on this website somehow, some way, shape or form. 78% of the views are from that website, which means mm, all of those people who watched the YouTube video somehow were um, aroused by what they saw. And here I thought <laughs> I was um, sharing this experience that I had to relate and um, I don't know, maybe laugh about it a little bit, laugh about with, you know, common folks. But no, nope, that video, I guess, was made for uh, people to find some kind of pleasure out of. So um, that's number one as to why I want to uh, quit YouTube. Two months into making uh, videos. Second, I'm not even gonna get my nails done. I have like one job. <laughs> So I made a video called Dear White People, and it is basically me addressing fellow white people, non-people of color, 
to just step the fuck up and uh, learn about Black Lives Matter and take time out of your day to educate yourself, unlearn, relearn, and to use the voice and the privilege that you and we so naturally have because of our skin tone. And I felt obligated to use my SoulCycle and Equinox platform and my recent YouTube platform to speak my truth, and I did. YouTube ended up reaching out to me and asked to feature the video on their main YouTube page. And cool, love, awesome. I believe that there should be more people to see that video and that type of content. That being said, I'm pretty sure the leader of the KKK found the video and showed it to all of his friends. So we're just gonna, um, we're, we're gonna take this moment, we're just gonna allow, uh, just, just take a moment and read. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at that one. Look at that one. <laughs> yep. They have this feature on YouTube where you can hide potentially explicit content. So those comments are not posted on your video. And I did turn I did I did turn those on. I did turn those on. YouTube told me I should probably turn them on and I did and uh I still got all of those, even with it being blocked. So I have about uh, maybe over a thousand held for review secretly in my YouTube studio that are not open to the public and just me. And uh, at one point I definitely stopped reading them, but I, but I definitely did read them, you know? I definitely did read them. And um, did I think about them before I went to bed? Yes, did I wake up and thinking about them? Yes, was, was I uh, uh, completely overwhelmed and did I want to hide in, in a shell? Yes, but at the end of the day, I, I got the word out there. Um. Yeah, with the overwhelming hate within month one, the disgusting, disgusting reality of my video getting onto that um, horrific website, I, I wanna quit. I wanna stop, I wanna stop. Is this what it's like? Is this what it's like? How? Two months? Two months, really? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the video for a second because clearly this, this uh, subject works me up and I, and the whole point was me to, you know, get my nails done at some point in time and I really want to show you my nails. I haven't done my nails in a really long time, so this actually might be horrific, but I want to paint them. I feel like that'd be a fun thing to do today. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna collect myself and then, uh, we'll, we'll get back, we'll get back. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for chatting with me. Hey, uh, really, truly, if you want to start a channel, start a channel. Just do it. Just put out crazy videos that you think that you want to film and that you want to like, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will get picked up by the algorithm and it will take off and then you can make money off of YouTube and quit all your fucking jobs because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to film for talking so fast and I'm um, hanging out with my cats and painting my nails and uh, telling you really embarrassing stories and, uh, and, the pot and the potential horrific things that could happen with some of your videos ending up on uh, wet panty sites about you, you know, pooping yourself. I'm gonna go, subscribe to all your friends and uh, until next time my friends, until next time, until next time pals. I don't think I'm ever gonna grow out of this.